Hello everyone, in this video we will be going to see how to create an AI agent in WhatsApp. So let us get started. So first of all, what we will be going to do, we will be going to developers.facebook.com, clicking on here. After that, what you have to do, you have to log in with your Facebook account. Once it is done, you have to click on something called as My Apps. Now, I will be going to click on Create App. Now, you have to give the name of your application. So, let's name it as Chats. And I will click on Next. After that, you have to select for what purpose you are going to create this WhatsApp chat application. So, let me select it here. Connect with the customer through WhatsApp. Now, I will click on Next. Here, you need to have a business account on Facebook. So, what you need? You need a page. So, I have already created a page called as Data Spoof. If you don't create any page, what you have to do? You have to click on Create a Business Portfolio. And here, you have to give your business a name your first name, your last name and your email address. After that, you have to click on create portfolio. Once it is done, what you have to do? You have to select your business account. So, let me select my data spoof as business account and I will click on next. Here, again you have to click on next. After that, what you have to do? You have to click on go to dashboard. Here, it is asking for the password. So, what I will do? I will fill my password and I will click on submit. Now, once this thing is been done, next what you have to do? You have to go to the dashboard and here you have to create an API. So, click on here. Now, you have to click on something called as API setup. Click on start using API. Now here, you will be going to see this page. Here, what you have to do? You have to select this test number and here you have to provide your mobile number. So, click on, let us say I am providing this mobile number. If you don't see this option, what you have to do? You have to click on minus phone number list and here you have to click on add phone number. Specify your mobile number, they will send you an OTP and you will click on next. That's it. Once this thing is done, now what I will going to do? I will be going to something called as N810 for platform. So, N810 is a very famous website for creating the workflows. So, what I am going to do? I am going, I am just going to log in it out. Now, let me log in it here. Click on get started for free. And here, I have already created an account. So, let me create on login and click on sign in. Now, once you reach at this step, what you have to do? You have to click on something called as create workflow. So, let me click on create workflow. Now, the first step is you have to add the WhatsApp. So, click on add first step and here you have to search for WhatsApp. Select here WhatsApp business cloud and here you have to select something called as on message. Now, here what you have to do, here you have to connect with your account, like Facebook developer account. So, what I am going to do, I will be clicking on here and I will click on create new credential. Then you have to provide something called as client ID and client secret. Now, let me show it to you where you will get all these things. Now, I'll click on here, click on app settings, click on basics. And here copy this app ID. Don't worry, currently I am showing you this thing. After that, I will delete this thing. So, let me just copy this app ID and paste it here. After that, you have to copy your secret. So, let me just show it to your secret and let me copy this thing out and paste it here. Once this thing is done, what do you have to do? You have to click on save. And here we can see we have successfully verified our credential. Now, let me close this thing, back to the canvas and here we can see the WhatsApp trigger has been initialized. Now, before that, what you have to do? You have to go to chats account 
and here you have to go to your application so let me go to my application click on here after this let me click on start using the api and here i have to generate one api here so let me generate the api here so let me click on so let me click on generate access token click on continue let me select everything and click on continue here after that you have to click on something called as two and select your mobile number here after that you have to click on send message and you can see whatsapp has sent you the message like welcome and congratulation now next what you have to do you have to go back to your n810 and here you have to click on test workflow so click on test workflow and go here and just type here hi now go to this account and here we can see if you go into here you can see your hi message has been received like here so this is our first step after doing this step the next step that you have to do is you have to create an ai agent so let me go back here and click on plus and search here something called as ai agent now let me click on here here what you have to do source for prompt here you have to check you to define below now in the prompt user message you have to paste something called as body so let me go here and throw this thing here after this what you have to do you have to click on something called as add option and you have to print something called as system message here let me name my agent so these are basically default prompt template these are some default system messages so what i am going to do i will give it a name you are a helpful assistant named as let us say jarvis after that what i am going to do you are talking to and here i will provide my name so you can see my name is written so i will drag it here and paste it here once this thing has been done what you have to do you have to just click on back to canvas and here you have to add your chat model so for this application i am going to use open ai so click on here and click on open ai chat model so let me search it here open ai chat model here the first thing that you need to do you need to specify your open ai api key so what you have to do you have to click on create new credential and here you have to paste your api keys i have already done this step so what i am going to do i will just click on here open ai account you just have to go back to the canvas and here you have to add an memory memory basically helps you to store your conversation now what i will do i will click on the memory and here i will select simple memory here you have to select something called as define below the key will be equal to like uh, what is your unique key so let me make my unique key as my whatsapp id and throw it here now it is asking like how many conversation you want to store so let me select here 10 like last 10 conversation i want to store it out after that what i want to do i will just go back here and then you have to click on plus here and you have to add your destination so my destination is also whatsapp so i'll clicking on whatsapp business tool and i'll be clicking on send messages okay now what you have to do you have to click on execute previous note so click on execute previous note and here you will do it was in, it has been executed successfully once this thing is been done what you have to do you have to select your phone number so this is my test number which is provided by uh developer account this is my recipient phone number so what i will do i will paste this number here once this thing has been done next what i am going to do in the text body i will paste the ai agent output so i will click on output and i will throw it here 
and here we can see now everything has been done now let me go back to the canvas now what I have to do I have to click on test overflow Now what you have to do, you have to click on save and here you have to click on active and click on got it. Now you can see you have successfully created an WhatsApp AI agent. Now let me verify it here. Now let me ask something like who is Elon Musk. Now let me click on enter and here we can see it will give me the response. Just wait for a second. And here we can see it is giving me the response. So this is how you can create an WhatsApp AI agent using N8N platform.